Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I wanted to introduce the Magento platform. Uh, this is going to be a quick introduction video to kind of showcase what is, talk about Magento and showcase some of the features. Um, so what is Magento? So Magento is a company owned by Adobe currently, it's 2018 August and uh, it is a an open source e-commerce platform that allows businesses to use the platform to sell to their customers okay uh, the platform is mainly a b2c business uh, to consumers platform but adobe does have or magento does have a b2b um, extension that you can also do but it, historically it's a b2c platform um, so as far as e-commerce, what does that mean? So uh, an e-commerce platform is a, is a platform, is a website that you can go and set up and you can upload your products for sale and you can actually allow your customers to browse and add to cart and purchase and then you can fulfill shipments to them. So that's the most basic, basic idea of e-commerce. Um, so let's look a little bit about what kind of products Magento has and then I'll show you a little bit about the back end and then in the future you can reference our other videos on all of the specific features, how to do things and what uh, specific uh, and detailed features and uh, products do they have. Okay, so on the website, of course, their website is magento.com and the, uh, if you go under products, there's a few different products. So the most basic ones are the Magento Commerce, which is the enterprise edition paid license uh, for their platform which includes uh, all of their built-in features plus features that are not available to the open source uh, and the free or no license uh, Magento version. So Magento has Magento open source which is a free open source uh, license um, and they have commerce which has additional support, many additional features and a, uh, a few extra um, very important features for businesses uh, uh, a, a payment bridge, PCI compliance, uh, and a lot of different features, and of course support from Magento, right? Um, so in addition, Magento has a few other things. So first of all is Commerce Cloud. Um, if you use Commerce or open source, you would have to host the website with your own servers. Magento has a service called Commerce Cloud, which includes basically all of Magento Commerce plus Amazon hosting that was set up, configured, and managed by Magento. Okay, so this is kind of the next step. So commerce with cloud plus a few additional features, a few different additional services are uh, Magento Cloud. Uh, they also have some additional uh, extensions slash systems for uh, just an order management backend uh, and uh, some uh, very detailed business reports. And of course, you can always get some extensions that are made by extension makers that will extend your functionality of your open source, your commerce, your cloud, etc. So you can extend it by other uh, developers. So these are the main features. Um, so Magento currently is on a version, as far as this video has been recorded, on a version called 2.2.5. Magento 2, a lot of people call it because in the past there was a Magento 1 version. Um, each, the, each of the Magento 1s and Magento 2 has an open source version and a commerce version, a paid version, and Magento 2 obviously has all of these additional ones. Um, so let's talk a, a few strengths about Magento before we get into the back end. So Magento is one of the leaders as far as e-commerce platforms. Um, and it kind of ranges from fairly small, not too small uh, businesses to medium to large businesses uh, to some enterprises. And um, it's really, really good at projects that are a little bit more complicated, need more customization. Uh, they're not really one size fits all. They're very good for multi-site, multi-country, multi-language, multi-currency, which uh, within one specific platform. So you may have one Magento that supports worldwide, for example, and each country, uh, for example, would have different settings and different integrations and different payment gateways and different uh, connections to different, you know, local requirements. So it's very, very good at that. Uh, another thing that Magento is very good is the security. Um, so Magento releases very regularly. If they uh, find any security issue, they release security patches and because Magento is run on, on so many websites, it's tested in the wild, uh, which means 
uh, a lot of sites you know use it and so you know hackers obviously try to attack Magento sites and whenever Magento uh, gets reported or finds uh, you know security issues they'll release very quickly security updates and then the developers will have to patch it so security is a very very good way a good one for uh, Magento um, and of course uh, the, the third one is you know features so there's a lot of customizations and settings that you can do that are that are really fitting a ton of businesses out of the box right so you don't need to extend them so taxes and different types of product types um, and the API is built in etc cetera, etc cetera. so there's many many features and in the videos in our YouTube channel you'll be able to see all of these features one by one we made a ton of videos for Magento open source and a ton of them for Magento commerce so you'll be able to see those uh, and I'll link the playlist in this video um, so th that's that's a really brief idea of Magento um, it's a very good platform we work with it for many many years and that's our exclusive platform that we build on I mean we, you know 95 percent of our work is um, Magento building Magento we've done it for years and years and we really like it it's a good platform um, and uh, obviously every platform has its you know downsides but overall it's definitely uh, the best e-commerce platform that we have used that we use um, that's out there and uh, it's it's you know it's it's a really good platform okay so let's go to the back end a little bit and I'll show you just some basic concepts of it and then again you'll be able to see our videos for full details okay so I logged into the back end and this is a test site of ours and when you log in you go to your dashboard right so in your dashboard you'll be able to see some basic you know numbers lifetime sales the recent purchases now there's no, there's no data here there's very little data because uh, it's, just, it's just a demo site that we use for purposes of video demos and playing around with. Um, so you'll be able to see some summaries of the latest orders and the latest bestsellers, etc. Um, but what you're going to want to do when you use the platform, when you use this tool, is you're going to go to the left-hand side to the navigation, and you're going to actually go to sections here. So uh, first of all, um, before we do that, um, if you have a multi-site, a, a you know system if your your magento has cells in multiple countries multiple languages multiple stores within one instance or one specific magento you'll be able to have what we call stores websites and stores and store views so within one magento you can really control many businesses or many sub businesses and whenever you go to edit products or see reports uh, customers etc you you if you want to view everything you would typically look at the all or the, what we call the default and if you're looking to change a setting or view something specific you're just going to use the drop down menus on the various pages to select and change and view data so it's really nice to have multiple sites within one system and each of the sites can really be different in their configuration and what they do etc um, so let's look at a few things so sales so this is the section that you're going to view all of your orders and your shipments and your invoices and your re returns. Um, so if you look, for example, at orders, you'll be able to see a grid, which in most of the uh, pages, these are what we call the, you know, the grid or the list pages, in this case of orders. And what you can do is you can customize the columns. You can make it you know, more visible or less. You can just really customize and remove things or add. And you can also reorganize them. For example, I'm going to drag this to the left. So you can make it very customizable. You can export a lot of these pages and just view orders. So you can view the status of the order. How has it processed? Has it been paid for? Is it moving forward? And you can obviously view specific orders. And the orders view will give you all the detail of the, the processing. Has it been paid for? Has it been shipped? What uh, the customer information, you know, the shipping information, payment and shipping, you know, uh, uh, methods. Uh, the products that were ordered and uh, just detail and summaries so you'll be able to see everything here and of course in videos you'll be able to see full detail okay um, so and you can see the same things for invoices or shipments or returns which we call credit memos uh, and just transactions you know payments etc uh, the next one will be I'm going to start with categories so every e-commerce platform has categories has a category structure so for example right here um, and so you'll be able to reorganize categories by 
you know, clicking and dragging and dropping. And you'll be able to manage the categories, all the information. So the SEO information and the content, the products associated to, uh, to the categories and designs and layouts and the content itself. Um, so let's go to the next one. So products. So products as, as well, you you're going to have a product list and you can reorganize these and you can change the product information. You can add attributes, you can organize the products in different ways. And in Magento by default, you can sell these types of products. So simple products, th these are products that customers can just, uh, they, they, they view them and they just buy. They're not customizable. You can't, they can't select different colors or different options. Configurable products are ones that you, uh, customers can select different options. So for example, if you have a t-shirt in uh, white and red and black, that would be a configurable product. You have group products, you can group multiple products together. So maybe these, some, a few of these multiple products. You have virtual products that are not shipped. Um, maybe, for example, a subscription or access to a site or something like that, or a digital map maybe. Uh, you have bundle products, you can bundle them together, require some and have some optional, and downloadable products. Maybe you're selling an MP3 or a video or something like that. Maybe software, for example, okay? Um, so that, that's the idea. So every product you edit uh, and you create, you can edit it and you can configure pricing and promotions and SEO options and of course images and you can customize these attributes. So every product can have different attributes, different requirements, and you can organize them into uh, ways that are very logical for the management of the system, okay? Um, so next one is customers. So customers, you can view all of your customers in the customer list. And sorry, there's some issue here, so I'm gonna skip this a little bit. Um, so you can view customers, um, customer information, you can edit, you can register customers for them, you can edit their information, you can view what's in their shopping carts, uh, view their order history, etc. And you can help them purchase. You can make orders for customers in the back end. Uh, the marketing ones allow you to create promotions when customers browse the website or when customers are already in the shopping cart in the checkout pages. This, the browsing is called the catalog price rules and the checking out is called cart price rules. Cart price rules are typically coupons, but they don't have to be coupons. They can be any different things. Um, here's where you, you can also customize the email templates. So uh, email templates are uh, used for what we call transactional emails. So anytime the system needs to automatically send an email to the customer, um, in, in the most popular cases are when customers register or customers order or customers get, have their product shipped or canceled or refunded. Those are what we call the transactional emails. So you'll be able to customize those, use some HTML and make your own emails and change them with the wording, content and design that you want. Okay. Um, you'll be able to have customers subscribe to newsletters and, um, you know, they can, uh, subscribe to newsletters and you can send them newsletters from the system or from external third-party connections. Um, you'll be able to see what people search for on the website, uh, sorry, on your internal website. So for example, if I'm on the front end, so a customer is going to the actual website, they'll use the internal search box. You can see what are people looking for, what products are they looking for, and you can optimize that. Um, so other things is you can actually manage the content and the layout and the design and the elements and blocks and banners of your pages. Uh, so you can uh, select that here by pages. You'll be able to do some configuration on the design and the layouts. And if you have multiple sites that so you can easily have them look differently. Uh, of course, you'll need a developer for that, but the configuration is easy. You can view reports, marketing reports and sales reports, top sellers, most popular products. Uh, customers by orders, uh, and then you know product related. Um, so in addition, Magento has an additional service for business intelligence, which are basically more advanced reports. If you pay extra, um, you know, extra fees, you'll be able to get more detailed reports from them. Uh, Magento does have its basic reports plus some additional basic reports, and then the advanced reports are paid. Okay. Um, so, and then Magento has a, a ton of configurations, so product configurations, store configurations, payment and shipping method configurations, tax configurations, uh, currency, uh, search engines, and many, many, many more. Uh, the configurations 
of Magento are just you know very very strong you can do a lot of stuff especially with multi sites but even with single sites you can really do a lot of thing and configure just how customers view and interact with the site and how the business actually you know sets up the site to fit to fit what the business requirements are um, so that's that's basically a really really quick overview of Magento uh, we made a ton of videos I'm gonna link the playlist in this video description and you'll be able to see a ton of details of new features existing features how you use them and please feel free if you have any questions let me know anything at all let me know and I hope we can make videos and explain and teach you guys about them uh, so thank you again hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you soon thank you